Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the new discoveries of the unusual interstellar object that we actually found only a few months ago in August of 2017 known as One Oumuamua. Today you're going to find out what other things we've uh, learned about this unusual object and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So right about now when I'm actually recording this video, Oumuamua is in this region of space. I'm going to actually keep it running while I'm talking a little bit more about what we know about this strange object. So first of all, this is actually the first interstellar object we've discovered uh, as of date. But we currently think that statistically speaking, there should be about up to 50 million of these objects passing through our solar system pretty much every year. Seeing just one means that we got lucky, but it also means that we are basically not seeing a whole lot of objects out there. Now, what's uh, unusual about this object is that, well, as you can see on the picture right here, it is actually elongated. It's uh, cigar-shaped, and we've learned this by looking at the reflections that this object was emitting, and we realize that um, as it spins, it seems to emit a lot more reflections from one of its sides, uh, than it does from the other. And so, because of this, the only explanation was that it's probably just basically really, really long. It's not very long in this particular simulation, but that's because Universe Sandbox isn't really able to produce these unusual prolonged objects. Now, what else do we know about this? Well, first of all, because it's actually moving at a current velocity of about 26 kilometers per second, and because it entered our solar system relatively slowly, we can um, estimate where it kind of came from and uh, what possible star systems it actually passed and also how long it's been traveling. So statistically speaking, an object that was traveling for a long time through various uh, interstellar systems and various star systems would have been actually traveling way faster. An object that was made relatively recently would actually have much slower speed because it wouldn't get enough chance to pass by many different stars and would most likely uh, simply just not have enough speed just yet. The more you travel through interstellar space, the more speed you pick up, the more and faster you travel. Oumuamua, in that sense, is actually a relatively slow traveler. Because of this, we can actually predict or kind of estimate how uh, long ago this object was made. But there's another thing that helps us estimate its age. It's actually uh, the materials present on the surface of the object. And we know that because this object is very reflective and actually uh, produces quite a lot of reflection, um, this suggests that it doesn't really have enough redness on it. Now, what we know about various objects around our solar system, like for example, if we look at Pluto, is that with age, many objects actually turn kind of uh, red. Now, you don't really see it here, I need to show you Pluto separately. But as you can see here, Pluto is relatively brownish red. This is actually um, an effect of uh, solar radiation and various cosmic rays hitting uh, various uh, deposits of methane and other molecules and turning them reddish. Pretty much most objects that don't have any atmosphere in our solar system are relatively red. Uh, so, uh, oh no, by the way, Mars is not red for the same reason. Mars is red because it's, it has a lot of iron deposits. So, um, we would expect an object that would travel through space for a long time, for at least a billion years, to actually have these as well. But it just so happens that Oumuamua doesn't seem to have these. As a matter of fact, uh, if we were to really kind of just take a look at it, we would discover that it's a relatively um, bleak, a relatively uh, silvery looking and reflective object mostly because it still has quite a lot of uh, young deposits on the surface, which suggests that its age is probably only a few hundred million years. Now, in stellar terms, this is actually very young. This also suggests that it was probably thrown out of a relatively young star system and potentially um, was 
located in the region where you would expect uh, the system to have an asteroid belt, simply because it does seem to have uh, a very rocky deposit as opposed to having a more icy deposit. And even though it does have ice, it also has a very carbon-rich surface, which also suggests that it's probably similar to asteroids in our own asteroid belt, which is probably where it came from. It basically got kicked out of that belt by some gravitational force. Now, we also think that it probably came from the region of space known as the Pleiades, or the Sisters, and it probably passed by at least a hundred different stars within about 16 light years, uh, since its creation. It probably even passed relatively close to at least five different stars uh, and our own Sun might have actually been one of the closest passages it had so far. But I guess the biggest uh, unusual feature of Oumuamua is its shape. Now this cigar shape, this long shape, indicates that it was probably ejected and maybe even created by a very very aggressive or very um, highly energetic event most likely some sort of a collision. So let's maybe just simulate this uh, right here by launching some sort of a randomly generated object at Pluto. And we're going to do this from maybe this angle as well. So here is the first collision and we're going to have one more just for fun. So this kind of an event would maybe produce uh, something similar to Muamua simply because um, it wouldn't really form such an unusual shape um, without a somewhat energetic event. Now, obviously, there are possibly other uh, ways that the prolonged shape could have been created, such as, for example, even being uh, spun faster and faster by the solar radiation. But the most likely uh, creation event would probably be a collision. A collision was something very large that would then create uh, a long object that would have very high velocity that would then leave its origin or original star system and come closer and closer to our own solar system and be detected by us. And well, for now, that's kind of all we've discovered about one Oumuamua, the first interstellar object detected so far. And hopefully sometime this year and in the near future, we'll be able to not only study this in more detail, but also find more of these objects and study them even more thoroughly. It'd be also nice to actually land here and just to kind of analyze the actual materials because this is currently um, the youngest material we've discovered in our solar system, making this a lot, a lot uh, younger than anything else we have. Like, for example, the molecules in your body are billions of years old. This stuff here is probably only about 100 million years old. This is much, much younger. So in that sense, it's actually something that we would like to study one day. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.